Hey guys, it's Brandon from Pixel Planet Studios. This is a continuation video where we're going to look at the second free tool, which is called Text Buddy for Adobe After Effects. You can download Text Buddy from the description below, which will have the install instructions. If you want more detailed install instructions, you can watch our last video on Opacity Buddy. Text Buddy is going to allow us to snap one piece of text to another. Let's take a look at how that works. The first thing we're going to do is type out some text. So I'll type my first name, and we're going to want to make sure that our text is left justified or left aligned in the paragraph window. It's going to make it easy for our tool to add words from left to right. So we always want to be left aligned. And I'm going to duplicate this and type my last name. Now there's a number of advantages to having these be two separate layers. We can control all of the attributes individually, including the font, size, weight, color, outline, effects, transitions, etc. And if you wanted to send these two names as an essential graphic to Premiere Pro, you can't set different font attributes inside of one text layer. If you installed it correctly, it will be under your Effects and Presets window in Presets, Pixel Planet Studios, and Text Buddy. So I'm going to drag that on to our last name. And then in our options, we can choose a layer or we can override and snap to, let's say, the layer below. So now because we have these as two separate layers, we can go over here and change this to a different font weight. And we can move this around and the last name will always go with the first name. And if I duplicate this and move it down here, um, you'll see that if I type my last name, if I change the font size on these, the spacing actually stays about proportional to what the space bar on your keyboard would produce. Now, one thing that will cause problems is if you try to scale down a layer instead of increasing its font size or if I create a new null object, and place it above these, you'll see that if I parent one layer, the second one doesn't know where to go. But if I parent both of these to the null, you can now use this to move it around, scale it up or down, center it on the screen. Now, if you are going to increase the text size, I recommend that you have some sort of anchor point tool and I use one of these tools every single day to move the anchor point of a layer. But especially in this case, it's really useful since the position is set based on this layer. So moving the anchor point, if you're going to increase the font size, really helps. Let's take a look at a more real world example. We have a couple text layers. And if I type in Eric's name, and Eric is our FX, Jedi and Eric does 3D and visual effects. You'll see that I now have to move this layer over, this layer over, and this layer over. And if you have to do this a lot of times, not only is it tedious, but you're trying to line up the same spacing on each one, which becomes difficult. So let me go back here and I'm going to select all of these layers and add text buddy to them. And we can select job one, or we see that it is the layer below. So I'll hit that. And if you watch the video for Opacity Buddy, which I highly recommend that you do, you'll know that these are pseudo effects that are controlling the position property of the layer. And so while we can't just copy and paste this from layer to layer that Text Buddy hasn't been applied to, we can copy and paste it. So if I hit Control C and click both of these and hit Control V, Pasting will overwrite the text buddy effects on the other layers, which have all of the expressions in their position properties that they need to work correctly. And since both of these, this Pixel Planet Studios, is above this title, and the last name is above the first name, and we had selected layer below in the effect that we copied, so the layers are buddied up correctly. But of course, you can also turn this to none, and you can tell it to snap to the first name. And then of course we can adjust our margins if we want. So let's adjust this one more time for Anthony. And then he is our video ninja and he is director and an editor. So we can decrease the font size of this layer and this layer. And that's it. And you'll see everything else automatically 
size correctly. You know, we can move this over so this is out of the purples over here, or even size both of these down since they're longer words. So that is Text Buddy. Click the link below and you can download Text Buddy and Opacity Buddy, which is the tool that we went over last week. And make sure to hit that subscribe button, not just so that you can see John and Anthony and Eric produce other amazing videos on this channel, but because you don't want to miss the last free tool that Text Lasso. And this is just version one of these tools. So we would love your feedback and any questions or comments or ideas about how we could improve them in the future. And make sure to like this video so YouTube's algorithm knows that it should recommend it to other people.